Well, this just aired tonight on BBC, and it's just another example of how the standards are slipping in the media so fast. It's just trash. It's absolute trash. Humulus and a humulus feminist, and I'll give you two examples. Because they were offensive and hurtful. We need to be quick, though, because okay. I want to hear more. So Let's this see. was a guy's hospital rag magazine back in the day. And and people like Andrew Goops say that these things are perfectly all right. Two, two jokes. One was, how, how do you get 100 Jews into a mini? One in the driving seat, 99 in the ashtray. And that is not funny. All right, well, that we'll was, start with that know, one example. And we won't borrow right. the minute silence. Yeah. And you would dare to think what I would think about that. Absolutely terrible. I, I mean, I can't believe that they're actually airing stuff like this. The thing is, it's so far left, so socialist left, that you can say whatever you like about the certain groups like Christians and Jews, for example. You can pretty much get away with anything. Uh, but then if you spoke anything against the religion of Islam, or anything against the religion of tolerance the United Nations agenda and the Jesuit agenda, then you get flagged up. You can't say anything. It's all this political correctness. And so some people out there like to think just completely irrationally that the Jews run the world. And yet, just look at the evidence. Look at the evidence of who you can't speak against. You can't speak against the Jesuit Vatican. You can't speak against... Islam, which is their tool that they're using. Uh, and you, you can certainly say what you like against real Christians and against Jews, pretty much. And I hope this story, um, you know, I hope this story comes out and uh, people hear about the disgrace that this is. I mean, it makes me embarrassed to be British, to be honest, when you have things like this. Humorless feminist. So she's telling, she's basically telling about this joke that she heard. But the fact is, it's being put out there. You know, the the fact is, it's being aired, and it's stir, and it's stirring up and furthering anti-Semitism on the backhand. You know, because um, it's still giving it airtime and publicity. Are these shows live? Even if this show is live, which they said it is live. Because I complained to the BBC. Uh, they said that this show is live, but even when they do that, I know for a fact that they have delay so that they can cut out anything that they need to. So. I mean, it's just the most. Just. I mean, it's just immature. It, it's just completely ridiculous. What is television becoming? It's like a playground for children. It is completely immature, uh, unbalanced, and totally full of a Nazi socialist agenda. Dictatorship, ultra-left. BBC is ultra-left. And so much anti-Israel propaganda that comes from these places too. Because there's always often a slant. You know, with the Balfour Declaration, um, there's been a lot of propaganda against that uh, in a lot of the left-wing newspapers so you can see the you know and people then claim that Israel and the Jews run everything but really what you're talking about is the Jesuits even if there are isolated Jewish people involved with these organizations they serve the Jesuits it's clearly obvious and what concerns me you know what saddens me even more is that the comments on here some of these people are not even concerned about what was said they're taking it they take it as a insult to feminism because she was told to stop because she was told to shut up apparently that's awful because it's chauvinistic or misogynistic it's not about what she was saying about the inappropriate disgraceful comments uh, that she was saying it's about the fact that a lady was told to shut up. 
I mean, so here we go. This is what this is the culture we're in. It is trigger, trigger, trigger everywhere. Um, you know, real. You know, they get away with racism. They get away with whatever they want. Uh, Anti-religious talk, as long as it's against the certain religions which you're allowed to mock, or um, you know, the certain people groups you're allowed to put down. Whilst certain protected groups, it's not politically correct, and you can't. You know, you know. Believe you me, if some kind of comment was made about the religion of Islam, for example, on this show, then I'm pretty sure it would have been cut. It is so unbalanced. And I'm not saying there should be any of that, but I'm saying that it's wrong that they allow this evil to be spoken about certain groups of people which they deem to be acceptable and this is leading nowhere good this is fascist this is jesuit fascism my goodness me i mean we can literally see it developing before our eyes it starts like this it builds up it already has been building up this is what all this propaganda is about hating israel hating christians hating jews hating the bible you can see the direction it's going. So this is a warning from me. But take peace and comfort. Do not fear. We are told and warned about these things. Uh, but we know the end of the book. The Bible tells us that Jesus will return. He will overcome. The lion of the tribe of Judah will prevail. They've endured a lot. So um, show, show comfort and love to Jacob, to the Jewish people, and pray for Israel.